Sabudio, what is it? Uh, so Sabudio is a tabletop soccer game uh, that was invented in the 1940s in England. Um, it uh, is nothing like foosball, which is what most people think when they hear tabletop soccer. Um, it is, uh, to me, a combination of uh, paper football, electric football, minus the electricity, of course, um, chess, um, and kind of, I've heard tiddlywinks or whatever the game was where you, where you flick marbles and, and flick mm-hmm. figures. Um, but to me, it's, it's soccer in a miniature version. It's, it's 3D. It's not a computer game. And uh, it's, it's a game that I love. Just like soccer, Sabudio is a simple game. There's out of bounds, goal kicks, corner kicks, and throw ins. There's even offsides, handballs, and penalty kicks. There are a few rules specific to Sabudio that one needs to know. So you can flick it this way, this way, this way. You just can't do that, and you can't do that. Are there out of bounds? Out of bounds is the white line, just like in soccer. Basically, the team with the ball has possession until they flick a player and miss the ball. Then the other team takes over possession. This is called a change. Defensive flicks are taken between offensive flicks to try to get in the way. As you can imagine, sometimes the calls can be very, very close. But for the most part, the action keeps moving. In fact, the offensive player doesn't have to wait for the defensive player to take their flicks. This can lead to some very fun and exciting action. There is one line on a Sabudio pitch that isn't on a regular soccer field. It's called the shooting line. The ball must be completely inside the shooting line for the offensive team to take a shot at the goal. Those are the basics. That's pretty much what you need to know to get started playing or to understand if you're watching it. There are a few more rules regarding corner kicks, throw-ins, and fouls that you might be interested in learning. If you are, you can search for Paul Eyes and Sabudio on YouTube. That's a great resource for learning details about the rules. Whether you're a hobbyist, a player, um, somebody who's just interested in the game or has heard about it, a soccer coach, whatever your needs are. There are several different versions of the rules. But primarily in the USA, we play under the FISTIF rules. And the organization that governs our play in the U.S. is the ASA. The American Studio Association. FISTIF being that they are the main governing body. The ASA also uses the FISTIF rules. Regardless what set of rules you use, the game is about good competition, having fun, and getting to know your fellow competitors in the Sabudio community. Uh, for me, you know, it was more about the people getting together uh, once once a year in a central location and engaging with each other because over the years, and, and I'm new to this, relatively new to this, over the years these guys have been getting together time and time and time again and seeing the bonding, the camaraderie uh, was most interesting to me. The competition was intense, but once the clock rang the final bell, everybody was friends after the, uh, after the matches. I just think we have a great core of players who have become good friends, and for me, it was more about that than, uh, than even the competition, although the competition level was very high. I enjoyed traveling, I enjoyed playing. My wife, you know, thinks I'm nuts, but I, it's, I guess it's a you know, better hobby than gambling or smoking <laughs> or drinking or anything. Yeah. I learned to play as a kid. Uh, you never forget it. It never gets out of your system. You know, I have a, a job where I travel, so whenever I'm traveling for work, I always look, okay, is there a Sabudio player there yeah, that maybe I can yeah. sneak away one night to get a game with or two? And so I've been fortunate to make some wonderful friends across the world doing this hobby for my very favorite sport.